Let me see. I want I want a little piece of the citrus. Mmm. Mmm. It is so fresh. A little asparagus and chicken. Hey, hi, I'm Amy, and I'm in my little kitchen, Amy Roloff. Seasonal in December and January and February and March, we ate a lot of citrus, oranges, and incorporating lemon, or especially grapefruit. So I got inspired by that salad that I used to have a lot as a kid, and I thought, why don't I make that now? It kind of reminded me of spring, but yet we're still in winter. But on top of the salad, I also wanted to add grilled chicken and grilled asparagus. So we get kind of a dinner salad, but you can also make it for lunch or if you got leftover chicken, add it to the salad, whatever you want to do. So for some reason, if you don't like asparagus, I was thinking lightly grill a zucchini. However, zucchini isn't available in winter even though we can still get it in our grocery store. And so I might, uh, well, I will grill the asparagus. And I thought it'd be really nice to maybe incorporate some really thin slices of an English cucumber. You know what? If you can find blood oranges at your grocery store, those would really look uh, good in the salad too, because they'll give some of that variety. But all I have here is a grapefruit and I have some oranges. I might even thinly slice just a few lemons in there. And so I zested probably about a couple of oranges here. I'll zest this lemon and I'll probably zest the lime. So we're gonna kind of have a citrusy dressing for this as well. So a little bit of crunch, even though we've got the chicken and the asparagus, I'm gonna uh, slice up some cucumber here and a red onion. So I think I might do this whole cooking thing in two phases because I might have my grandkids coming over here in about a half hour. So I'm hoping I get to grill this chicken in time before they get here so that I can hang out with them and play like a grandmother should. So let me get my apron on and we'll head on over to the grill. So I have lemon salt and I used a little bit of that in here uh, from Jacobson. And I also have lemon pepper. So I thought that would really go well. But I also am going to add in a little bit of thyme and a little bit of garlic powder. I mean, just eye it. I've got a lot of chicken over there. And I might have to do this all over again because I'm not sure this is going to be enough. Okay, I'm warming up my grill here a little bit. Just put a little bit of olive oil in there. I pat dry my chicken so that these will kind of grill nice. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this on. The seasonings and herb mixture. Some of these pieces of chicken are bigger than others. I'm hoping this chicken will not stick to my pan. I'm gonna just drizzle a little bit of olive oil over here. A little bit of olive oil in here. A little bit of white wine vinegar. Might need a little more. I'm gonna juice this lemon. Okay. I'm going to put in some of this zest. I think I'm only going to do like a maybe a teaspoon. We're going to squirt in. Instead of Zijon mustard, I'm going to do a little bit of honey mustard. Sprinkle of this minced. I try to mince it as much as I can. One clove of garlic. Just slice up a little bit of romaine first. Because I might mix this in with a little bit of arugula. Um, since it's only Chris and I, I'm just doing individual bowls. If you're serving up the big family, get like a really nice big platter. Lay your chicken pieces down. And, uh, well, first, you know, do your lettuce. Uh, lay your chicken down. 
then sprinkle all the other ingredients like your celery, your grilled asparagus, or your cucumber, and your slices of uh, grapefruit and oranges or blood, well, blood, red, red blood, grapefruit, or no, oranges, anyway, and stuff like that. Or lay all of that stuff on top of your lettuce and just gently lay or slice your chicken over that salad and people can dish up that way as well. Arugula here because I really like that nice peppery, just a little bit. And like I said, this should not take long because these are young. They're uh, thin or skinny. Okay, we're gonna start layering our salads. I'm gonna sprinkle some celery. Then I'm gonna gently kind of lay the chicken. This is a lot, this is one big breast of chicken for Chris, but hopefully he'll like that. Tell you the truth, I'm thinking I should have probably put this on a plate, but I didn't. Okay, there we go. Oh man, this looks so good. Now we're just gonna drizzle some of the dressing over. I'll just roughly chop up I think, I think this dressing will enhance the citrus and the chicken. Oh man, this is so good. I'm hoping it's good because you know what? I am hungry. Okay. We're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of parsley. And if you wanted to use cilantro, you could, but I think parsley works better here. Okay. And then I think I added, you know, I'm not sure if I added, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of tarragon. I'm not sure if I added it into the dressing like I should have. Okay, let me get a um, let me get a little bag. Well, you guys, you know this is real when I don't clean up in between. Just gonna put them in here. I'm just gonna use a little glass. Okay, I think that's enough. This will add a nice little crunch besides some of the veggies in here. Like I said, if you want something else, go ahead, add something else. Okay, there we go. That's what's for dinner tonight. Grilled chicken citrus salad. So you can find this recipe and all of my other recipes over at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen or go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to that. But I so appreciate it, and I hope you like this version of uh, a citrus salad. So, enjoy! Let me see. I want, I want a little piece of the citrus. Mmm. Mmm. It is so fresh. A little asparagus and chicken. Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. Till next time, thanks for joining me.